All right, everybody, the problem says, what is the wavelength in meters of an electromagnetic wave whose frequency is 3.64 times 10 to the seventh hertz? So the problem gives us frequency, and that frequency is 3.64 times 10 to the seventh hertz. So let's write frequency, which is denoted by the lowercase Greek letter nu, which looks kind of like a V. Okay, frequency is 3.64 times 10 to the seventh, and the units are hertz. And another way to write hertz would be seconds to the negative one power. And that's what we're gonna use for our calculations. Okay, the problem is asking for wavelength in meters. So wavelength, which is denoted as the lowercase Greek letter lambda, is we don't know, and we're trying to find that in meters. Okay, so for this problem, we're going to use this equation over here, and it is the speed of light, which is c, is equal to wavelength times frequency. So we need c, we need the speed of light. And that is a constant, it is 3.00 times 10 to the eight meters per second. Okay, that's the speed of light. So we have everything we need to solve for wavelength. We need to manipulate our equation now to isolate for wavelength. We need to get it by itself. So to do that, we're going to divide both sides by frequency. And we're doing that so that on the right side where we have wavelength, frequency will cancel out and we'll be just left with wavelength. So we can rearrange the equation and I'm gonna flip it so that wavelength is on the left side. Wavelength is going to be equal to the speed of light divided by frequency. Okay, so wavelength is gonna be equal to the speed of light, and we know that is 3.00 times 10 to the eighth meters per second, don't forget your units, divided by frequency, and the problem gave us that. It was 3.64 times 10 to the seventh, and the units are seconds to the negative one power. And why again did we use that unit? Well, that's because seconds is going to cancel out. On top of the fraction, we have divided by seconds. We have meters per second. So that's kind of like saying seconds is on the bottom of this fraction. And then in the bottom of the fraction, we have seconds to the negative one power, which kind of means seconds is on top. So those seconds being on top and on bottom, that unit is going to cancel out. So we're gonna be left with just meters, which is what we want because that's what the problem is asking for. So now we can do the math. You're gonna punch in your calculator, the numerator, which is 3.00 times 10 to the eighth, and we're gonna divide by the denominator. Now, since the denominator is in scientific notation, we need to make sure that that all stays together. So one way to do that is to open parentheses and then put 3.64 times 10 to the seventh and then close parentheses and hit equals. Quick lesson here, if you don't put that in parentheses or if you don't use potentially the EE button on your calculator, what your calculator is gonna do is all of this math first it's gonna get that and then multiply by 10 to the seventh. So because we do not want it to go in that order, make sure you have it in parentheses. So hit equals and your calculator should say 8.24175. Let's round that to three significant figures. So our wavelength will be 8.24 and our units are meters. So final answer, what is the wavelength in meters of an electromagnetic wave whose frequency is 3.64 times 10 to the seventh hertz? Well, that will be a wavelength of 8.24 meters. All right, if you wanna see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. 
Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.